place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. You call me friend, no longer slave, your loving self for me you gave and all mankind you came to save so i follow you i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you oh lord i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you my dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today we celebrate the feast, the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. We pray for all those people who need the Lord's assistance. We pray for all the priests, religious, who have received the call to follow him. We pray for all our families. We pray for the girl child in our homes. We ask our dear Lord to protect them and let us present to our Lord all the intentions we have. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, it is a call to each one of us that is brought by the angel Gabriel, bringing us closer day by day to our Lord. An example of this call, the follower of God, the person who lived in reality the commandments of God, that is Mary, our mother, who receives the call to conceive Jesus, the Savior of the world. It is an announcement, a greeting, a call, a good news. Let us look into our lives, being Christians, how worthy have we been to partake in this mystery, in this holy sacrifice, let us call upon all the inner self, the wrongs, the mistakes, and above all, the sins that we have committed, that we may receive forgiveness from our Lord and that we may forgive each other wholeheartedly. Let us confess together with a heart full of sorry, with a heart willing to forgive. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers, my sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what, what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth be His honor, be His to people of goodwill. We praise You, we bless You, we adore You, we glorify You, we give Let us pray. O God, O will, that your word should take on the reality of human flesh. In the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man and merit to become partakers in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 to 14, chapter 8, verse 10. The Lord spoke to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself coming either from the depths of Sheol or from the heights above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, house of David, are you not satisfied with trying the patience of man without trying the patience of my God too. The Lord himself therefore will give you a sign. It is this, the maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial sum. Your response. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here I am. Your response? Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. 
In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Your response? Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. Your response? Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. Your response? Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 4 to 10. Bull's blood and goat's blood are useless for taking away sins. And this is what Christ said on coming into the world. You who wanted no sacrifice or oblation prepared a body for me. You took no pleasure in holocaust or sacrifices for sin. Then I said, just as I was commanded in the scroll of the book, God, here I am, I am coming to obey your will. Notice that he first says, you did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered, that is, the sacrifices, the oblations, the holocaust and the sacrifices for sin and you took no pleasure in them and then he says here I am I am coming to obey your will he is abolishing the first sort to replace it with the second and this will was for us to be made holy by the offering of his body made once and for all by Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The word became flesh. He lived among us and we saw his glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid, you have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren 
is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, The whole story begins here. The Annunciation of our Lord to Mother Mary. What must Mary have been doing at that time. What she must have been thinking. Was she thinking about all these things about the coming of the Lord? Was she preparing or cooking at home? Was she working in the field? Was she cleaning the floor, what was she doing, you think? She was an ordinary woman. She was betrothed to Joseph. So these things must have been going in her mind about marriage, about raising family with children, and for a woman or a man who is about to get married, these things go in deep within themselves. They begin to think. So rather than thinking about all the worldly things, she must have been thinking about her marriage and family life to come. Within that, the word of the Lord comes to her through Gabriel, the angel, who announces with a greeting and lets her know that God's favor is upon her. It was a big shock for her. But the word of God cools down Mary, saying, relax, do not get worried. Do not be anxious, do not get afraid, for God's favor has been upon you. The power of the Spirit has overshadowed you. You are filled with the grace of God. Mary begins to get that strength. But she questions the angel, how can this happen? I am just betrothed. I am not married. I have not had any relationship. But the angel reminds that she is the one who is favored. Mother Mary had all the idea about the scriptures. What is spoken in Isaiah. A woman will conceive. Yes, she was a very pious and spiritual woman, very dedicated to God. And that is how the word of God, God has come in truth to her to make his dream a reality through Mother Mary. And what a grace for this woman to have this blessing of the word to be conceived in her womb, and she to bear this Savior in her womb. Let it be done according to thy word, accepting the word of God. All the dreams have shattered, but a greater cause is ahead. Now there is going to be disturbance in the family 
but God will take care of everything. If the word of God comes to a people who really accept, they will cooperate in the plan of God. And God's plan is to redeem the whole humanity, to redeem all of us. And therefore, he chooses this pure, pious, and a real woman who will never say no to the word of God. So, my dear friends, we too get the angel Gabriel coming to us in various forms in life, whether it is in choosing the spouse, whether it is in conceiving the child of God, whether it is a job or anything and everything, including charity and generosity. We need to respond to the word of God. First of all, we need to know the word of God. We need to know the scriptures well. We need to listen. And then we need to cooperate with God, with the plans that he has for us. During this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord that whatever plans he has for each one of us may be fulfilled through the power of his spirit, through the inspiration that he gives us, and that we may never lack or go astray from him. Amen. Let us profess our faith together. I, I believe, believe in, in God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, earth and, in and in Jesus Christ, his, his only Son, our Lord, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is and seated, seated at the right hand, right hand of God the Father Almighty. From, From there, there he will come, come to judge, judge the, the living and the, living the, living the dead. dead. I, I believe, believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, body and the life everlasting. Amen. Sometimes when troubles are many, life can seem it's true, but look at the life of the master who lovingly suffered for you. All that we have and all that we offer comes from our hearts, both frightened and free. Take what we bring now, give what we need. What we bring now, give what we need, all done in His name. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, in once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Our Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I go before you always come, follow me, and I will give you rest. Blessed are the poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn. For one day you shall laugh And if wicked ones insult and hate you All because of me Blessed, blessed are you Be not afraid I go before you always come, follow me, and I will give you rest. Be not afraid. I go before you always come, follow me, and I will give you let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear mother for bringing blessings upon each one of us. On this day of the Annunciation, we ask our dear mother to specially bless and pray for those who are looking for a suitable life partner in their life. We ask our dear mother to bring goodness to them. We pray for all those who are sick, praying for Ukraine and Russia for unity and revival. Praying for those who need the Lord's healing touch through our dear mother, we pray. Praying for those who are preparing for exams, those who are appearing for the exams, those who are preparing for the interviews, those who are looking for jobs, those who are waiting for the gift of child, dear mother, favor them, we pray. Bring your blessings upon each one of us. All those who have the occasion to priesthood, to religious life, and to work in the vineyard of God. Bless our families with peace, joy, and serenity. 
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith. We pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you a very happy feast of the Annunciation, and may you have a wonderful day with your family and friends. May He renew the strength of the weak And be the hope of wavering wills Mother of God, plead with your Son Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure Mother of God, plead with your Son Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure, that he may wipe away every tear, and make his light to shine on our face. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure, Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure.